Our story opens with Yonsen High's star student, Yon Sion, who, from the outside, is the perfect model student with excellent grades and an impressive extracurricular record. Deep down, however, Sion struggles with the absence of his mother, an academic lecturer, and often goes to sleep listening to her online lectures. To make matters worse, his classmate, Jian Young Bin, starts relentlessly bullying Sion after placing second in a math competition. While the bullying starts with minor incidents like stealing Sion's gym uniform, it escalates into severe physical abuse, even strangling him in the locker room. Thankfully, Si Yun befriends On Suho, a fighter who can't stand bullies. While Sion is struggling, a newcomer named Oh Bum Suk is being also bullied by Young Bin, who uses Bum Suk to stick a fentanyl patch on Sion's neck which causes him to stumble out of class, feeling numb and dazed. During a mock exam, Sion suddenly realizes that he has been drugged and starts slapping himself repeatedly to stay awake. In a sudden burst of rage, he slams his fist down on his table, grabs a book, and bashes it into Young Bin's face, even stabbing a pen through Young Bin's friend's hand and wrapping a curtain around Young Bin's head hitting him until the fabric was stained with blood. As Sian moves to step on Young Bin's face, Su Ho shoves him back and tells him not to cross the line. However, Sian is, at this point, beyond reason, as he grabs a chair and charges towards Su Ho, ready to attack. After the incident in the classroom, Sian quickly earns a fearsome reputation in his class, gaining both respect and fear for the ruthlessly cold and violent way he stood up to the bully. Well aware that he will need to strike back harder this time to take Sian down a peg and restore his reputation as the dominant force in the classroom, Young Bin's anger and bitterness only grow as he plots his next move against Sian. Sian, on the other hand, is trying his best to keep a low profile and avoid further confrontations. Knowing the fight with Young Bin is far from over, he can feel the eyes of his classmates on him as they wait for the next round of violence to erupt. Meanwhile, Bum Suk has been racked with guilt ever since he was forced to help Young Bin in his bullying campaign against Sian. Traumatized by bullies in his last school despite his privileged background, Bum Suk struggles to find his courage. But one day he can no longer bear the weight of his conscience and apologizes to Sion. Sion recognizes his sincerity and befriends Bum Suk, finally forming the central trio of the season. In the background, Gilsu, the head of a group that forces money out of teenagers through a rigged gambling app, finds his gang members beaten and bloody, not one to take things lying down. He demands to know who has done this and vows to make them pay. Young Bin, ever the opportunist, tells Gilsu that he knows who was responsible for the attack and promises to bring them to him. Naturally, instead of leading Gilsu to his enemies, Young Bin frames Sion, Bum Suk, and Su Ho before they knew they were going to face the intimidating Gilsu and his men. Not wasting any time, Gilsu breaks Young Bin's cousin, Sok Day's arm right in front of them and threatens to kill them and their families if they don't bring him 15 million won in three days as compensation. Stunned and scared, our trio of main characters racks their brains with ways to come up with that kind of money in such a short amount of time. This is when Sion thinks of Young a smart and resourceful runaway offender with a troubled past. It occurs to Sion that she might have just the information they need to come up with a plan. Sion tracks her down and asks for her advice. Youngie, knowing all about the gang from her first-hand experiences, tells them everything she knows about Gilsu and his operation. Gathering what little resources they have, Sion, Bumsuk, and Suho set their plan in motion. However, when their plan fails, Suho and Bumsuk gets captured and kidnapped by the gang and Sion is in even deeper trouble. Finding Su Ho's blood on Gil Su's hideout floor, Sion once again employs the help of Young Yi, the runaway girl who had helped them before. Young Yi comes to Su Ho and Bum Suk's rescue, bringing along Sok Day, who, although the leader of a gang, is deeply loyal to Young Yi, while Sion follows them by GPS. Using their wits and their courage, they manage to free Su Ho and Bum Suk from their captors, but not without a fierce fight. Finally free from the gang, Sion, Su Ho, and Bum Suk celebrate with a night of hanging out in the karaoke room and belting out their favorite songs. However, while the night starts innocently enough, out of nowhere, the bullies from Bum Suk's previous school show up and the atmosphere in the room grows tense as the two groups face off. Never able to let bullying slide and fearlessly loyal to his friends, Su Ho steps in and demands that the bullies apologize for their past actions. Despite his good intentions, however, Bum Suk feels patronized by Su Ho's interference and it is clear that Bum Suk is bottling up a lot of past trauma. As they part ways that night, Sion can't shake the feeling that something terrible was about to happen. As more days pass, Sion grows increasingly worried about Bum Suk, seeing that his friend is becoming more and more unstable with his anger always simmering just beneath the surface. Despite their efforts to calm him down, Bum Suk seemed to be spiraling out of control and Sion knew that something needed to be done before it was too late. 
As the tension between Bum Suk and his friends escalates, Bum Suk starts hanging out with Jiang Chan and Ti Hoon, two boys from his past who were known for their troublesome behavior, starting to drink. Bum Suk quickly begins exhibiting the same bullying tendencies he used to experience himself. Sion, now deeply concerned about his friend's well-being, continues to have trust in Bum Suk. Believing that his new friends are using him because of his wealth and that Bum Suk's recent behavior is a just product of his loneliness and insecurity, Sion is convinced he can save their friendship, even if Su Ho is less forgiving of Bum Suk's actions and cuts him off completely. With the tension between Bum Suk and Su Ho continuing to grow, it reaches a boiling point when Bum Suk hires fighter Wu Young, who holds an old grudge against Su Ho, to beat up him on his birthday. To ensure Bum Suk's victory, Young Bin helps to sabotage Su Ho's bike. Although Sion wants to do everything he can to help Bum Suk out of this dark spiral, the situation seems to be going out of control, and he doesn't know what he can do to save his friend from himself. Unaware of Bum Suk's plan to beat Su Ho up on his birthday, Sion and Young Yi excitedly plan Su Ho's upcoming birthday party. However, Young Yi receives an unexpected message from Bum Suk claiming that he needs her help to apologize to Su Ho for their recent conflict. Although hesitant at first, Knowing that things have been tense between Bum Suk and Su Ho, Young Yi is convinced to come to Bum Suk when he says he is ready to make amends and move forward. Unfortunately, it was all a trap, and when Young Yi arrives, Bum Suk and his new friends kidnap her. Meanwhile, Sion anxiously waits for Young Yi to return and when she doesn't show up or pick up her phone, he starts to worry. Just as he is about to call Su Ho for help, his phone beeps with a message from an unknown number. The message is from Bum Suk, and it contains a photo of a frightened and bound Young Yi. Realizing Young Yi had been kidnapped, Sion's heart races as he rushes out of the house and heads towards the location that Bum Suk had sent in the message. Met by a vicious fight from Bum Suk's gang who had been expecting Su Ho to come to Young Yi's rescue, Sion's injuries leave him barely able to walk. Despite his pain, Sion, knowing that he was already going through a lot with Bum Suk, hides the truth from Su Ho, who, after discovering the truth about Young Yi's kidnapping and Sion's injuries, is filled with rage. Not able to believe that Bum Suk would stoop so low as to harm their former friend, Su Ho knows he has to confront Bum Suk to put an end to the madness. Hiring Wu Young, Bum Suk sets up a live event where Su Ho will face off against him, knowing he has to win for his friends. Su Ho gives it his all which results in an intense fight, with both Su Ho and the fighter taking heavy hits. Just when Su Ho thinks he has the upper hand, he is suddenly sideswiped by one of Bum Suk's friends. The gang proceeds to beat Su Ho mercilessly. Even when he is down, one of the bullies eventually realizes that Su Ho isn't breathing and panics. As the son of a politician, Bum Suk is quickly whisked away by his father's secretary, leaving the others to come up with a lie about what had happened to Su Ho. Although we learn later that Su Ho has not died but fallen into a coma as a result of his injuries, he is still not able to wake up even with the help of all the hospital equipment and falls into a negative state. Sion, unaware of what has gone down, feels that something was off when he tries to reach Su Ho, but he doesn't answer his calls. While taking a test in class, Sion's phone rings and Young Yi tells him that Su Ho is barely hanging on to life at the hospital and is being kept alive by machines. Rushing to the hospital, Sion is devastated to see Su Ho, usually so full of energy and passion, in a coma. Filled with anger and seeing only red, Sion searches for everyone and anyone responsible for Su Ho's condition. Initially unable to find Bum Suk, who is under house arrest with his father threatening to hire a hitman to kill him, Sion goes to Young Bin's school and brutally attacks him, shoving a pen into him as they had done to Su Ho. After Young Bin confirms that it was Bum Suk who had given the final punch, Sion's fury only intensifies, and he goes in search of Wu Young, the fighter who attacked Su Ho. Beating Wu Young senseless, Sion hits him hard with a dumbbell, despite Wu Young also blaming Bum Suk for the attack. Still, on the warpath, Sion returns to school and attacks two other students who were there during the assault on Su Ho. When he finally confronts Bum Suk, Sion chokes him by the collar. But as Bum Suk tries to justify his actions, Sion is ultimately not able to seriously hurt him due to his former love for Bum Suk as a friend and brother. Having to take responsibility for his actions, Sion shows Bum Suk's father the video of his son's involvement in the assault and Bum Suk leaves to study abroad. Young Yi cuts ties with everyone involved in the incident and Sion transfers to a new school, although his reputation makes it impossible to transfer to a good school and has to settle for a school with an equally bad reputation, never able to catch a break. As soon as Sion introduces himself to his new class, one of the bullies started harassing him. However, the next time the bully threatens him, saying that he would rip his mouth if he didn't obey his orders, Sion isn't intimidated by the bully's threats. Instead, Sion looks at the bully in the eyes and asks, does this fill your ego? While holding the pen like a weapon, the series of weak hero class 1 ends with a scene that fades to black, 
And all we see is a tattooed hand holding a photo of Sion in the classroom with a voice that asks what they should do with him, referring to Sion. 